so here we are back at the new one of the new projects um all the demo we're gonna go see he, he demoed got everything out he had a big crew of guys here yesterday um i should have landscapers coming in there, let's walk around the perimeter here there's a lot of well i want them to see this though so full price offer um they're actually going to close in three and a half weeks which is on the rarer side usually it takes a little longer for them to get bank financing so um you can see Look at the furniture, a lot of the same stuff. This is cookie cutter, guys. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So um, one last time, I know you guys saw this place last time when it was in the process of being staged. Let's go up this way. Um, now it's fully staged and um, I got an offer from the first showing, first day on the market, which is great. So full price offer. Um, they're actually gonna close in three and a half weeks, which is, on the rarer side, usually it takes a little longer for them to get bank financing. So um, you can see, look at the furniture, a lot of the same stuff. This is cookie cutter, guys. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? Um, remember that. There's no reason to change. I mean, there's minor tweaks in the staging, but you see, you're starting to see a lot of the same tables, a lot of the same couches, you know, benches, um, stuff in the kitchen, because it works. Guys, that's how this business works. That's how you don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay?
Um, why would I change materials? Why would I do anything differently? You see my Jacko Bean floors. You see my white shaker style slow close cabinets with the brushed nickel, same faucet, same appliances. Sometimes there's minor tweaks with appliances um, depending on fridge space and just different kitchen design in general. But um, we were gonna demo, usually I demo this soffit, you see this here? and just have the cabinets go all the way up. But on this particular place, I guess there was a lot of um, wires and plumbing and stuff in there. So we decided to leave it alone, but can lights, the same can lights throughout. Um, this place had a porch on the outside that was super rickety and kind of nasty. So we rebuilt the top part of this porch. So that's clean. Um, so let's see, same, same subway tile backsplash as you can see, just sharp, clean, crisp, same granite, right? Same six panel doors, nothing new guys. I know you're probably thinking, Nick, you keep showing me the same stuff, but it's true. Why would, there's nothing different to show you, you know? I mean, we tweaked the vanity a little in here. You know, again, there's minor tweaks you have to do to fit the space, okay? And to make sense of the uniqueness of each home. Um, but the same style vanity and sink, same brush nickel faucet, white subway tile surround, right? Brush nickel, um, you know, tub, brush nickel tub, uh, hardware. Same color towels from the stager as usual, right? Um, hardwood floors throughout as much as possible. Sometimes I do carpet. I like to do the darker hardwood wherever I can. Um, same closet doors, the six panel doors. We ripped all the old ones out. Um, it's worth it too, by the way. Don't, you know, those old school slabs, painting them white. I mean, can I get away with it? Yes, but for a couple bucks more, I have the more modern, cleaner, six panel door look, okay? Uh, what do we got here? Little staged, cute girl's bedroom situation. Pretty straightforward, right? Um, same dome lights in the bedrooms. I don't can light the bedrooms usually. Once in a while, if the master bedroom's huge, I will, but in general, just the same dome lights. We always usually stage one of the rooms as an office. Obviously, it's a bedroom, but um, just to kind of press different buttons in the buyer's heads. That's what we're doing. We're trying, staging presses the buttons in buyer's heads. So if they have one kid, they can picture this as a cool office. If they have two kids, mom and dad are in there. And then the two kids here, they know they can use this as a bedroom, but it just kind of stimulates ideas in their head. Okay. That's what we're trying to do with staging. We're just simply stimulating ideas and visualization of them living here. That's what staging is. It's a buy, it's, it's the shortcut to a buyer's visualization of living here. In an empty house with no furniture, can I do that? Yes. Have I gotten away with that in the past? Yes. Um, I can sell this house without staging. It's just the data is clear. You get more for your houses and, you, and your houses sit on the market less time with staging. Cause you're like shortcutting, it's like you're bypassing certain things in the buyer's brains where it's like, oh yeah, this is home. Okay, this is, this feels like home as opposed to an empty house with no furniture. Yes, it can still feel like home, but it takes more work in their brain to feel like home. You follow? It takes more work in their mind to, to picture it being home, you know, picture it as a home. Um, so I just want to be clear, like there's no exact answer where if you stage it, you sell it. And if you don't stage it, you won't sell it. That's not true. It's just, if do you want to sell them fast? Do you want to sell them for more money? Stage them. 
er, in the early days, I was like, ah, I don't want to spend the extra money on staging. It's pointless. The house is beautiful. Wrong, wrong idea. And I've had to pay for that uh, over the years as I look back and do the math and see just how things went. I paid for that ignorance. Monetarily, I paid for it. Okay, you think you're saving, you know, a thousand or fifteen hundred or whatever your staging bill is, maybe even two grand for a bigger house. You think you're saving that money, but you're losing money on the long term. Guaranteed. Okay, guaranteed. I could have sold this house without staging it. I do think it would have sat longer, and I'm, I would have got less money. When it's staged, people fight for it. Okay, I mean, first buyer. First off, there was another buyer who I think was gonna write an offer, but I accepted this one immediately because it was full price. They could have written an offer to it. People just love it, you know? Um, so here's a half bath, which you guys pretty much saw before, but I just, all the staging is final now. So the buyer um, already did their home inspection and we're on track. This thing's moving fast. Somebody's here. Are you on? The appraiser's here, which is good. They're uh, moving fast. So we're um, just want to check something in here, but we're going to split. They're going to do their thing, but that's good. Within a couple days of an offer, got the inspection and the appraiser going, which means they are pushing to get this thing closed ASAP. Ready to go? Get that light. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, I'll let you go. Pleasure meeting you. All right, so the landscaping is done. Um, I thought they were gonna actually just rip everything out and um, hang tight for two weeks and then redo it, but they decided to do it right away. So they put they put um, super um, thick weed barrier down. This sounds a little loud. Super thick weed barrier down. And um, they mulched it, left some of this little greens on the side here. Come on. You know what, somebody's gotta clean these gutters though. I'll have Jim do it. garage we filled a dumpster and pulled it away so we have some junk left here but we'll get another dumpster soon this place is in a nicer area so what i like to do to not piss neighbors off fill the dumpsters you know for the most part and then put everything else in the garage and then once we're totally done get one more dumpster fill it quick and immediately remove it you know dumpsters are kind of an eyesore especially in nicer areas and you want to you know I, I don't know i guess i just i'm really respectful of the neighbors i always introduce myself to them let them know hey there's new activity here don't worry about it we're making the house better we're improving it which is only going to improve your neighborhood so um but anyways on a side note that's what i do okay i a lot of times in nicer neighborhoods don't just let a dumpster sit i end up actually having it all in the garage and then fill it one time, boom, dumpster in, one day to fill it, next day it's removed, so there's not an eyesore in the neighborhood. So anyways, you see this landscaping. Right now, it's plain Jane, you know what I mean? I didn't put a lot of greens here. Basically just some green in front there, but it's gonna go. I mean, people like this fresh mulch look. I probably could have added maybe a few more greens if I wanted to, but we'll see when the time comes at the end. There's no walkway, if you notice here. Sidewalk going from the porch to the, um, to the driveway which is necessary and needed so my guys that did the landscaping they're going to come back and build something for me i think with pavers actually and it should be pretty sharp so let's go inside get a quick update on that not a lot's changed inside um so let's see yeah we had some glitches with the kitchen which is normal um not always but with this particular kitchen the design kept coming back wrong and bumping doors and stuff which can happen modified a few things done no big deal